You haven't seen this one in a long time. Hi Katie. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my single ladies and my man Matt. This is a project created by Jessica and Amanda last year, last January of 2019. We have been doing it for so long and it's an ongoing project actually. We we don't have an end date for this. It, it basically ends when we don't want to anymore or when we have finished all of our matte palettes in our collection and that is going to take forever <laughs> but we really i really enjoy this and my rule in my project has been to hit pan on my singles uh, single eyeshadows and then roll them out and just get some use out of them jessica and amanda they are doing amazing about finishing <laughs> their shadows um but i just really really like to hit pan and i want to get the most use out of my collection and make it look used. I'm coming to a point where the I have a few single shadows that I haven't hit pan on but they are matte and they are dark shadows and I'm already working on a lot of neutrals and mattes so I find it hard to roll in something new for this project so I'm kind of setting low goals but at the same time they are apparently really hard for me to hit. <laughs> we have chosen a matte palette for My Man Matte and I have chosen for 2020 at least a W7 palette and that is this one right here. It is the Major Matte palette and I think it is a dupe for the Too Faced Natural Matte palette or whatever it is called. It is looking like this so you can kind of see the set up the layout is kind of the same thing. I really want to get some good use out of this this year and I think I have done that so far. So this is what it looked like last month and then I will show you a close up of this one. So this is where we are today, for this month. <laughs> Three months in and I don't have any pants but I do have some wear in the shadows. I'm panning a lot of neutral shadows in my panda palette so it's not going as fast as i wanted to go or um, the progress at least the pink and the kind of toby brown down here for my transition color and this when i wore some purple looks and this when i wore some more neutral looks um, or more green as well kind of what i have to on today i don't have it on today though I don't wear these shadows today, so this is kind of a bad example. Um, but this is kind of a neutral look that I would go for. And I could use this palette as well. Then I have used this one as well in my crease quite a bit. And as well as these two warmer shades down here. This in my crease, this is my outer corner. This as well in my outer corner a little bit. Um, I don't think I have used this this month. Last month I did use it in my brows a few times, but because my roots are getting quite long and my hair are not so red anymore, I don't think I can pull that off. <laughs> in the beginning I did because Toby brows looked weird, so I did the more red, but I don't think I can pull that off anymore. I don't think I can color my hair. Can I color my hair when I'm pregnant? I've heard both things. Yes and no. Let me know <laughs> if you know. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, that is that for this palette. I don't know if I have any goals. Maybe I should, but I'm just see where this goes. Yeah, I'm just I'm just using it, and I'm really happy about it. And it is getting more use than it was like last year. I didn't use it at all last year, so this is good. This is good. <laughs> For our single ladies, we are working on four single shadows at a time, and I hit a pan this month. <laughs> I rolled in my ColourPop Super Shock shadow in two months ago. In the beginning of February, I rolled this in. It wasn't long after the update that I hit pan on this. This is Cricut. And you can see the pen there. I tried to wear the product down evenly so I'm not cheating or anything like pushing the product and stuff like that. So I think you can see that I have worn it down quite evenly. Um, but yes, I'm pretty excited to have pen on this. It didn't take me a long time, but it didn't happen overnight either. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to roll this out 
just because I have created Frank Shadow that is really similar to this in my Panda palette, so I don't think I will get as much use out of this as I wanted uh, want to. So I'm going to roll it out, but related to the intro, I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to pull in because I'm working on some dark shadows in this and in my Panda palette as well. Um, but I do think I'm going to roll this in because. It is kind of purpley red tone and I think that is going to play nicely with the other colors and I need to pan on this soon. I've been having it in two roulette pan collabs and I'm not going to roll it in another project except this one without it having pan or anything. So this is the Kiko single shadow in 133. So, you can see the imprint is still there, um, but the middle K and I are kind, kind of wearing off. So that is where I'm going to focus, obviously, because that is where I'm going to append the soonest. I had the other round Kiko shadow in last year, which were a champagne color. I don't know, it took me a, a few months to hit pan on that one, but a champagne is definitely easier to use than... Uh, Darker one. This is not completely matte, so I think it is going to be nice in the outer corner, and I really like it for that because it's not entirely matte, but it's not shimmery either. So, kind of satin, really. Is that the middle thing? I think so. Okay, I haven't used this really. The P2 The Future is Mine single shadow. Um, you, you can see I have some good pan, but I don't think I have used it at all since last update. Maybe I have used this a little bit. This is also a Kiko eyeshadow in 54. I think I have used it a few times. Don't know how much progress you can see, but I hopefully can have more progress on this after um, doing those two Franken shadows. And the last shadow is something that I really enjoy, but man, this is taking forever. <laughs> it is my Essence single shadow in Snowflake. I really really love this shadow for my inner corner and that is mainly what I use it for so this is going to take forever. Maybe I should use it as a highlighter and now I stuck my finger into it. It's beautiful. Yes, maybe I should use it as a highlighter but I am panning highlighter so I don't know. Uh, the padding struggle is so real at the moment but yeah, I'm just using it in my inner corner and I really need to depart this soon. I have said that for five months now and I really need to do it. That is everything for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and you are enjoying following along even though my progress is not that big and everything. But I really really enjoyed this project. It's really laid back at the moment for me at least. I really hope you enjoyed and until my next video please stay safe and subscribe if you are new here. Yeah. Until my next one please take care. Bye.